everyone. Welcome to the Lockdown Economy, a social nonprofit initiative by the think tank Alter Context to help small businesses and self-employed professionals overcome the challenges of the pandemic and reactivate the economy where the real entrepreneurs share their insights. In Albania, it is done in collaboration with Epoca University. My name is Swada Hoja and today our guests are Mr. Dintian Medani and Mr. Rezard Alia, the CEOs of Corona Center of Technology. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? So I wanted to start off by thanking you for joining us today. I know it's uh, Gente's birthday and we wish him a happy birthday. Uh, thank you very much for being here with us, and uh, we are very excited to talk uh, with you about your business. Okay. Okay. It's so, uh, okay, let's start by uh, asking you what your business actually does. So, where are you based, and what do you do as a business? For how long have you been doing it? Okay. Rezi, go ahead. All right. It was your idea since the beginning, so... Okay, so five years ago, we had this idea of, uh, uh, of training youth because we noticed that a lot of youth were sitting in, in coffee shops. And since we both came from the United States, uh, this was uh, something that impacted us. Hence, we started small. We started with one library at Tirana Center of Technology. And Genti was training at that time in 2015, he was training the Cisco courses and I was training plus plus courses, very, very small things. And then next thing you know, it it just exploded. And then every year we, we added a classroom and now we have six laboratories, uh, over a dozen or two dozen equipments in Cisco devices. We have about 70, 80 st students concurrently at one time. And uh, we are happy with our entrepreneur and our startup. Okay, so you are happy with your uh, business, but how were you feeling when the pandemic happened? So, like, how did it affect your business and how did you feel about that? Well, uh, we, before the pandemic, we started online training about nine months, a year ago, through a project called Rece Albania. And uh, when the pandemic hit, we were doing some online training. And... Uh, moving from in-class training to online training uh, was not very difficult for us. was not difficult, let's say. Uh, we understand that uh, for students to be in front of you and to be in virtual, uh, it's different. Like it's more, it's, it's more difficult to, to, to learn online, but we do everything live. We use, uh, we use like up-to-date, uh, softwares that they can feel that they are at Tirana Center of Technology. Uh, and then uh, we, we I, I guess we, we surpassed this successfully, I would say. Yes. Uh, we had in Albania. Yeah. So if, I, if I may add something to that. So, uh, yeah. yes, the Pandem uh, pandemic brought us uh, through like difficult decisions, but as already as already said, wasn't difficult for us since we had already uh, uh, this kind of technology in place. The online uh, learning and it's the uh, live instruct instru instructing. It's not just uh, videos that uh, some websites put out there for uh, people. It was. Uh, Yes, it uh, it's uh, it was missing the human interaction live, but not the human interaction over uh, uh, over the line online. I mean, so yeah. everything was there. Everything it was, was there. dynamic still. Because our staff is all tech oriented, all instructors, assistants, us, everybody was we 
didn't find it difficult to use technology because we use it every day. Hence, our two, three full time staff we have, and seven, eight instructors at once we have, they are all software and IT instructors. So we found it not difficult. Then. So when uh, COVID 19 happened, you like implemented this uh, learn from home immediately? Like you didn't take no time off at all? No, it was a small transition. This was just as, as smooth as it, as it could go. It was just perfect. Uh, we um, had, uh, Rezi had already this idea of uh, uh, creating these hybrid classes before the pandemic. So uh, uh, other than the uh, completely online classes, we had uh, for example, five people in class and three people online. So we had already this kind of experience and wasn't difficult. it wasn't difficult to, for us at all. We're doing half and a half already. That's yeah. great news. Yeah, it seems like you have surpassed it successfully for, for sure. Um, so how is your business doing now? Like we know that the lockdown is lifted, but still there are some limitations uh, because of coronavirus and like the physical presence of students, I think is not allowed. I'm not sure you can yeah. tell us more about that. Uh, I'm sure that every business is hurt from coronavirus and all businesses are still feeling the lockdown because some countries, even us, are not 100% open. And you could tell from the news and online, all countries have their GDP by 5 to 10 to 15 percent which means less money in every one of us pockets which means less money to spend and since we provide services we expect people to spend because uh, uh, this is I mean this is uh, our service is not uh, like uh, the necessities yeah. you, people when they have no money they stop the services before they stop their like necessities, which is yeah. food and, and electricity and all that. So we, are, we feel that we have a few less customers, this is for sure. We feel the numbers have gone a little bit down, uh, but we expected that. Uh, we, we know that uh, uh, some numbers have gone down because of economy, but also some numbers have gone down because in Albania, we still don't think that uh, online training is as successful and as uh, as valuable as interpersonal like in class training so it is difficult for us to sometime it is difficult for us to to obey to to convince convince the other persons that hey try it out and if you don't like it you have you don't pay anything and if you see that it's working for you you pay later so we have this two, three weeks, no pay, uh, satisfaction guarantee, let's say. Oh yeah, that's that's a very good approach. Uh, so do you know how your competitors have been doing during the, let's say critical time of coronavirus? Because, you know, in Albania and all around the world, actually, there are many businesses that have gone bankrupt and they've had like serious trouble they just stopped existing. Okay, right. um, we have been the first in the market, and we have been uh, initiators of this uh, uh, of this kind of business, online business. It's uh, live instructing, as I said, and um, we haven't heard so far of anyone else uh, companies around uh, in Tirana doing what we are doing. So we have this kind of advantage, and I strongly believe it. And um, other than that, we have uh, our driving force is um, uh, the quality of our in, uh, instructing. So we have uh, the best instructors that we get from the market. Um, and uh, as I said, quality is our, our keyword. Uh, one of the things that I, would, I could mention is that during lockdown, we did several uh, server administration courses like Windows and Linux server using the Azure uh, cloud service. Hence, we're using, let's say, the last up-to-date state-of-the-art technologies. And 
if we cannot make it happen, I don't think which business can make it happen if techno technology activities cannot make it happen in during yeah. lockdown. I guess that explains your success during this time, which has, I mean, has destroyed a lot of businesses in Albania, but you guys seem to have managed it well. So what is the outlook for the upcoming months? What plans do you have for the upcoming months? Um, like, do you plan to change your strategies or add some features or change something related to, I don't know, okay. to the structure of your business or something? Well, we, we have added more classes that the uh, students can take online. Uh, uh, even uh, classes that uh, before it was uh, unthinkable that uh, we could manage to do them uh, online. Now we are uh, finding ways, the best ones, to just uh, in, uh, instruct those uh, class, uh, classes online. And uh, uh, we are trying. It's like a, a new path for these new classes that we are adding. So uh, that's our plan, to add at least two classes, I guess. Uh, this was our, our plan. Plus, the pandemic has, uh, is changing our era, our century. So a lot of businesses of the old way of thinking, they are as you said, going bankrupt and, and stop from working. Uh, so this, what makes us is that we have to think of new ways to, to, to challenge this, this, this pandemic, this era, and uh, uh, just try to innovate new paths of activities with the situation we are. So um, your future plans, let's say the short term ones, include only like um, plans uh, for conducting your business online and not physically? Is that the case? Or? We played by ear. So nobody knows what's gonna happen next. Uh, we have good like um, news, let's say, about the vac vaccination and anything, but that's going to happen very late uh, in Albania. So we are still uh, unclear. I think everybody else is uh, not unclear on what they are going to do. So we are going to play it by here. We play it along as the, we are very agile. We uh, like uh, adapt to the to the market. Whatever it's going to ask at that moment, we are going to respond to that. Okay, so um, what would be like three things uh, that you think you would need to, um, let's say, facilitate the conduct of your business? Like, um, because you work with students and maybe they have problems with the internet connection or I don't know, because there are some, some certain things that can make it more difficult even for a business like yours so what would be like two or three or three things that you think that could make your business function better if they were changed it could be like some governmental issues or whatever i mean like you said one of them being the technology itself uh, internet connection it's very important to have a online streaming high quality learning unless there is a reliable internet connection and reliable electricity of course these are this is our dead stoppers in any business and ours especially because uh online you can work without internet or electricity and sometimes we do have uh uh problems but I think we are we are good so far uh, what else is uh, it's difficult to say we just have to come up with new ideas because we have we are we are seeing that uh, Tirana doesn't have the number of students anymore that it used to have a year ago Tirana had 20,000 students probably in last year at this time <laughs> and now we have no students from uh, around the country so 
definitely this it's a it's a uh, it's going to impact this us. Uh, what else is this is the mentality thing that we can we can learn online. This has to change. Uh, if our if our youth uh, changes the mentality that online is good, you can learn no problem. I think a lot more youth will come and say, "Hey, teach me online," because most likely I'm going to work online with this pandemic. Hence, since you are a software developer or even a network engineer today, with all the cloud services, most of us are working from home or isolated, let's say. So the mentality of uh, people, it's one of them. It's another one. And uh, of course, I mean, uh, there is a government uh, a government fund that would uh, sub substitute or would uh, give back to people who spend on training. It would be good because there are, there are many countries that uh, uh, that give back to people who train themselves because this person is going to pay more taxes tomorrow. This person will be better for the society tomorrow, for the country, for everything. So it's it's a good way. Yes, th these were very good points that you made there. Uh, so. Uh, I guess these were the questions that we had prepared for you today. If you would like to add anything, you're free to do so. Uh, let me add that it was a great pleasure to talk to you and to have this conversation. Uh, and I'm very sure that uh, the viewers of the of the video are going to be also very excited. I, and I just want to add that whoever sees this, we just want to say that at the Rana Center of the Technology, we who work there, we give everything. We give 110% to, to train you, and we care so much to make sure that you actually become, uh, let's say, a junior IT or developer by, by the time you, you finish our courses. Yeah, this is a very good message, and I'm sure that they are going to uh, listen to it. And for um, more things uh, about the you, the business that you have, uh, Tirana Center of Technology, uh, we are going to leave a link uh, down this video. Uh, so I want to thank everybody who joined today. Feel free to contact uh, Gentian and Jazart using the links in the description of this video. I invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And in the coming weeks, we're going to share many more insights with you. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.